Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Arlen. It's a pleasure to meet you, my good friend. Don't like think I'm creepy, I never usually say that kind of stuff. But anyway, today I'm doing something really exciting and that is the Do I Have That Book Challenge challenge. Um, I actually just filmed this video, I'm not even joking. And the reason I'm filming it again is because after I recorded it, I looked at it it was kind of, it was sad, but at the same time, I'm excited because I get to do it again and it was really fun. But the only thing that I'm actually sad about is that I know all the questions now and I literally know like every book that I have that has that stuff in it. But, but that's where the twist comes in. The twist is every time I do one of the challenges, I have to do five push-ups. And if I physically can't do it at whatever point, then I fail. So I might as well like just name this video, like, do I have that book challenge with push-ups? <laughs> because that's kind of what this video is. But anyway, I dropped my watch. Uh, let's get the video started. I still have 10 minutes. If I do not get it in 10 minutes, I will be disappointed in myself for the rest of my life. <laughs> but there were, just so you know, like a few that I couldn't do. So we'll try to like see if we can do them again. I don't know, maybe we'll have more time this time to like look. I forgot to mention the stakes. If I fail to complete this challenge within 10 minutes or Fail to complete the push-ups i can like skip a few questions because i know there are some that i don't think i have but like i said if i fail to do it in the 10 minute time or fail to do the push-ups then i literally lose and i have to do an embarrassing fortnite dance for you guys so and it can't just be like any fortnite dance like snapping your fingers or sitting down on a chair i know that's an emote on fortnite so i'm gonna have to do an actual embarrassing fortnite dance <laughs> which is why this video was interesting. With that fun note, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting our watch. Three, two, one. It's starting. Okay, um, do you have a book with decal edges? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> I do. It's called The Warlock by Michael Scott. Let's get out of this. <gasps> okay, next question. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Nightfall by Shannon Messenger. This is the book that I got last time. It's so easy. I literally know. Oh, I have to do push-ups. Okay. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Definitely. Like, like um, Scarlet. So Scarlet by Shannon Messenger is based on Little Red Riding Hood. Push-ups. Okay, question number three. Do you have a book based on another fiction? Oh, wait. I just did that. Where? Where is my mind? Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I do. And I remember it from last video. I actually like couldn't find any, but then I finally found one. The ro wait, Roller Girl by Victoria Jamieson. <sighs> okay, those push-ups, man. Okay, um, so yeah, wait, what am I doing? I'm on a timer. Okay, uh, push-ups. Okay, uh, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Which book I chose for it. <laughs> That's not good. Um, no. uh, yes, I chose Sisters. This is actually not my book, but it's on a shelf, okay? Okay. Next question. Sorry, I'm like out of breath because this is actually happening. Like, this is real. Do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes, literally, um, the brand is Innocentary. <laughs> the brand, um, the Stormlight Archive series. Five more push-ups. We can do this. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? The Girl Who Looked Beyond the Stars by L.B. Ann. I think I remember saying that was her pen name. Let me see. What? Okay, it doesn't say it right there, but I'm gonna count it because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing that this was a pen name. So if you wanna look it up and like deduct me points, you can, but I think I'm right. I think that was actually a question I didn't get last time, so I need water. What time are we at? Okay, so our time is three minutes and like 17 seconds. So next question, do you have a book with a character's name and title? Obviously. Look, I know this may be very generic, but I am winning. 
So I'm not looking for anything else. I'm winning. Okay. Five push-ups. Do you have a book with two maps in it? I do. Where to go? Which book? Oh yeah. Oh, I just picked a random inheritance cycle book. Eldest by Christopher Paolini it has one map, and then at the end, it has another. Yeah, that stack of books is way too big. I'm not gonna put that on there. Okay. Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Why did I choose for this again? Oh yeah. Oh, it's okay. So I chose a series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snicket, that indeed was turned into a TV show, and I watched it, and it was actually very good. Oh yeah, five push-ups. Okay, do you have a book by someone that was originally famous for something else? What did I do? Oh yeah, okay. Um, here we go. Okay, Man vs. Wild. Do I have to say anything more? Like, obviously he's not famous for writing books. He's famous, you know, so that counts. Um, Push-ups. What's our time? We have five minutes and 27 seconds. We are ahead of schedule. Oh, I'm so out of breath though. Okay, question number 12. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I do. And I'm going to choose Legacy, which is Keeper of Lost City. Book um, 8, I think. Yeah, book 8. And voila, I have all the time in the world. I don't have to rush. I have to rush. This stack of books is getting humongous. Okay, question 13. Do you have a poetry book? That was the one I didn't get, but let me look a little longer to see. Just to make sure. Um... This doesn't have to be a poetry book, does it? Definitely not. That's literally like a graphic novel. Um, wait, okay, no, I don't. I don't think I do. I unfortunately do not have a poetry book. Still have to do five push-ups though. Okay, question 14. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? I chose, I remember I chose the graveyard book. It has the Newberry Medal on it. So yes, I do. Question, I do have a book with an award stamp on it. How much time? So, wait, we're seven minutes and 20 seconds in? What, okay. Um, Do you have a book written by an author with the same initial as you? That was a question that I couldn't answer, so five push-ups. I definitely do not think I have a book with a Author has the same initials as me, definitely not. We have like two minutes. We have like a little less than two and a half minutes left. And we have like five questions left. So let's hurry. Do you have a book of short stories? And I do. I'm gonna choose this or I could choose this. Actually, I think that might be it. Or actually. Okay, I have these three options so i get like extra points for that right two minutes left do you have a book between 500 and 510 510 pages i do not i don't think that was another one i couldn't answer five push-ups um do you have a graphic novel i most certainly do uh here's one i have ghosts by reyna Helgemeyer here. Your last name is really cool. It reminds me of Treadmill for some reason, so I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. Wait, we have a little bit over a minute left and we only have one question left. Do you have a book written by two or more? Wait, we have to do five push-ups. Okay, question 20. This is the last question. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? And I do. It's right here. Voila. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare boom which i am going to read for my next video coming out well not next video but one of my videos coming out soon is going to be swapping my screen time for reading time so if you want to check that out depending on when the, you're watching this it might be out and might not be out i forgot to stop the watch okay it says nine minutes and 32 seconds so we probably finished at about nine minutes and 20 seconds Whew, uh i'm out of breath wait i have to do five push-ups start the timer again whoa wait okay nine minutes and 41 seconds that is amazing except for the fact that you know we literally already knew all the answers and the questions yeah at least i don't have to do a fortnite dance though actually you know what i'll be nice i'll do like a lame fortnite dance for you i'm gonna try to do lock it up like how like what 
Okay, how? What is that dance move and how do you do it? I do not know. I could look it up in two seconds and find out, but I don't want to. Uh, okay, we have like a stack of books here that we use for answers. And I'm gonna go ahead and vote this one as the nominee for best option because during my other video, just so you know, I was like, I don't know if I have whatever the prompt was, like, do you have a book written by someone who's originally famous or something else? I don't know if I have that. I was like getting a little crazy. I was going to <laughs> through some options and I finally found this. Thank you, Bear Grylls. I need I need to grill some salmon. I think that's what I'm having for dinner tonight. So like, literally, I'm not joking. I completed the challenge. Technically speaking, if you would be technical, I failed the challenge last time, but technically speaking, that didn't count. So technically speaking, I won and I completed the challenge. So this is really exciting and this time luckily my books are not as messed up as they were before i actually have a clip showing you how messed up they were after my video also it's really hot in here why am i wearing a jacket also when is the mandalorian season coming out i need grogu i need grogu anyone else okay so anyway that's i guess that's gonna wrap it up for this video this was a lot of fun and i think there's another like um one of these videos that is like this i think it's called do i have that other book challenge i don't know who it was created by if it was created by the same person or not but i'll see because this was so much fun and i'll probably do that soon if you want it you can comment if you don't want it you can also comment but maybe don't because you like you don't really have to because like you don't really have to comment that you don't want it you just don't have to watch it when it comes out <laughs> but you know do whatever you well i don't know but yeah like i said that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching this is so so awesome and you are so awesome and grogu is so awesome and like books are so awesome so thank you for being here i had so much fun with you and i'll see you in my next video <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll see you in my next video and hopefully this green one so bye bye bye, bye.